welcome back for the billionth fucking time. We're here to drone we about... six videos out currently. Billionth fucking time. We're here to drone on it for an hour about a four minute video. <laughs> As we do. As we do. While going through my typical like list of angry, hateful things on YouTube... And, you know, cliche arguments here and there, constantly repeated. Mm -hmm. We have discovered a wonderful thing from Jordan Peterson. Like, you tailored Facebook to basically be just, like, hate feed? Just things I despise, yes. But, like, if you do that with everything on the internet, it's just basically encapsulating yourself in a ball of, like, hate. I know, but it's... The funny echo chamber, isn't it? No, yeah, it's <laughs> funny. I'm just pointing <laughs> out that. <laughs> I mean, it keeps you going. This video is titled, Jordan Peterson Calls Out the Pseudo-Moralistic Stances of Activists. It's a Q&A. This is our first time watching it. I want to know, what is your answer uh, to young people for some of the really big uh, f uh, problems facing humanity, like the you know climate catastrophe, like economic crisis like the precarious job market because they just don't like you talk all this much about uh, individual responsibility most of us are never going to be able to afford uh, to have all of these assets to have responsibility over so what is your advice beyond banal comments like clean your room anyone with half a brain that listens to any of his stuff can tell that he just doesn't have anything oh no any answer for that no. and that's like a main problem He's, like, I don't need to explain to you why Jordan Peterson is. <laughs> no, he's, he's gonna reveal it yeah, himself. Yeah, he's, he's just gonna say it, yeah. That right now? fucking always happens. It's actually rather difficult to answer a question. I would consider that more of an opinionated personal and political statement than actually a question. So why don't you try reformulating that so that there's an actual question? The other part of it still stands. You want, you're yes. Just, you're just focusing on it. You don't have a fucking response. It's the same thing that Ben Shapiro does. It's like, yeah, yeah. you say a singular thing, and because clearly this is an emotional topic yeah. for like many people, as in, it's like, you're talking about the death or continued annihilation of your, exact, of your living, mm -hmm. or your generation, like, or generational living. Yeah, people get passionate about it and throwing like a fucking ins like a singular insult into things. Mm -hmm. It's like ad hominem. It's like motherfucker, you ever read the Greek scholars what they did to each other? <laughs> Is not unknown for philosophy fights to end like fucking knife or fist fights. Throughout all of human history, things have ended in fist fights. Because, As it should. Well, you're fucking passionate about something. Yeah. Have a fucking soul. Don't try and be this drab Kermit the Frog looking motherfucker like him. He can't help it. He can't help his voice, he can help the way yeah. he looks. There's something about, like, working with what you got, you know? That's a phrase. Like, he's Kermit the Frog because he has to be Kermit the Frog. Jordan, once again, we're not going to cross-examine our questioners. Uh, so, try answering the question about collective responsibility on climate change, for example. Pick, pick one part of that. Someone has to tell him to answer the fucking question. Yes. At a Q&A. Well, it's because him, Ben Shapiro, they rile up the crowd mm -hmm. until the people until people get obviously upset because like a fucking not touching you kid. Yeah, yeah. They they and then eventually you that is like the perfect embodiment yeah. of like who, who these people are. Just like I'm not touching you. I'm not touching and you. And then when you eventually shout back, even because they never created an argument, mm -hmm. it makes them believe they won it. It upsets me, if only because how hypocritical these people are when it comes to arguing. Oh, absolutely. It upsets me because it's like, why can't people just be okay with someone calling them, like, terribly dumb? <laughs> the only way to argue against people like this, in like a very true way, is the far alternative. Mm -hmm. Because when you let something slip and you say like a single, like, you know, curse at them, or a single, like... Like bad mouth like, them. Yeah, bad mouth them in any way that they can, well, any way they can even contrive. Yeah. They win. Just start off with strings of insults and insult their intelligence and their family. Mm -hmm. Or, just be completely and utterly cold to them. I think the, the latter might work better. Well, no, I'm saying that, like, every venue, I'm saying that's what everyone's response should be one or the other. Like, if they go up and speak, just... 
fucking froth out of the mouth and scream. Mm-hmm. Like, it doesn't fucking matter. They have nothing of value to contribute whatsoever, and they're right. going to bad mouth, even if you say, like, benign things. Mm-hmm. They're going to bad mouth whatever institution or fucking organization you're a part of anyway if they view as liberal-leaning. Mm-hmm. So might as well make it a real hostile environment. Mm-hmm. As in, not telling you to hurt them, but more so make sure they're very viscerally not welcomed. Or not show up at all. Or just have somebody talk to them with the same, like, conjure that inner charisma from your deep, deep, like, DMV worker you have in your soul. And talk at them in a very slow and mundane way. Talk about Jordan Peterson as a person for just one second. Yeah. Unlike, like, Ben Shapiro or something where I feel like something needs to be done, I don't think anything needs to be done about Jordan Peterson. I think he can be ignored. I genuinely believe out of all of them, he is the... His demographic is by far and strongest just a bunch of fucking losers. Like, these people contribute nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing to anything at all. And it's way too benign to ever create a shooter or something. It's going to produce a bunch of sad sacks of black-pilled, misogynistic fucking losers on image boards. Well, fundamentally, I'm a psychologist, and my experience has been that people can do a tremendous amount of good for themselves and for the people who are immediately around them by looking to their own inadequacies and their own flaws and the things that they're not doing in their lives and starting to build themselves up as more powerful individuals. And if they're capable of doing that, and then they're capable of expanding their career. And if they're capable of expanding their career and their confidence, then they're capable of taking their place in the community as effective leaders. And then they're capable of making wise decisions instead of unwise decisions when it comes to making collective political decisions. I'm not suggesting, you know, they're never suggesting that there's no domain for social action. No, I'm suggesting that people who don't have their own houses in order should be very careful before they go about reorganizing the world. I have to bring it up every time it comes up. The idea of individualistic thought in the Western culture in general, like, that's a lot of what he's going off of. Absolutely. Yeah. It's... As a, and the idea of focusing on a group as a whole is uh, just completely out of his field of thought. Yes. Anything that could be conceivable to him, I guess. You gotta fix all your own problems. You gotta do it all on your own, because or else you, you won't be a man, or you won't be whatever. Everybody that will ever preach that to you has a, has received assistance somewhere or has gotten an unnaturally lucky break. Yeah. Yeah, of course. One of the two. Yeah. And then you say, oh, but you make your own luck. It's like, yes, no, there's plenty of time. I'm not saying these people did not get earned at all by, by themselves. Yeah, yeah. But you, you do need... have to put your own effort into things, and, yeah. but it's also like... Whether or not the opportunity arises is based on nothing more than random chance, or in the case of being born in a better position, or raised in a better position, not as much random chance. Which happens in many ways. If a young person believes that the uh, climate, the global warming um, problem on the climate is something that needs to be tackled quickly, do, do you think collective responsibility overrides individual responsibility? No. <laughs> okay. I think generally people have things that are more within their personal purview that are more difficult to deal with and that they're avoiding and that generally the way they avoid them is by adopting uh, pseudo-moralistic stances on large-scale social issues so that they look good to their friends and their neighbors. That's what it looks like. She mouths what the fuck. And that is probably the most <laughs> appropriate response to whatever bullshit he just spewed at me <laughs> it's the same thing with the fucking pollution people i can throw every piece of garbage i create for the rest of my natural born life into the fucking streets and do absolutely nothing and just throw my garbage bags in fucking the woods i will never create the amount of damage that certain companies can do within a week but that's the whole thing is that what can an individual do in, the, in comparison it's a really popular tactic that a lot of people, ad- that a lot of companies adopt. Mm-hmm. The don't litter ca- campaign was adopted to try and blame the state of fucking the structure of the world around us on the little man. He's clearly talking about an angry youth, yeah. which is well. First, you have to fix your own life. Like how I'm broke, I have trouble paying things month to month. What the fuck am I supposed to do to be in a better position? It's like work two jobs, fucking kill myself. 
And just questioning this, apparently, before you achieve success, if you ever achieve success, according to him, is wrong. Mm -hmm. My only problem is that if one focuses on the individual that much that you can no longer infringe on anybody else's rights in any way, shape, or form, you have to be self-sufficient. That's the only way that logical conclusion could emerge. The only way that that philosophy could be lived by Mm -hmm. is if you were completely self-sufficient for all needs. Because if not... In one way or another, you have to interact with others. And then what's an appropriate interaction or an inappropriate interaction? I wouldn't have to serve you if I don't feel like serving you. And that just means that you can just isolate people and let them die. Yeah. That is perfectly moral. Like, if all of us stopped talking about Jordan Peterson right now and pretended like he didn't exist and refused to accept his money and just treated him like a non-person and he starved to death as he was incapable of making his own food, that is moral Mm -hmm. in an individualistic society. Right, yeah. That's the whole thing. So we can kill millions of people in this for this line of thought without ever running into a problem. Right. As yeah. long as we suffocate you in a way that isn't directly murdering you, mm-hmm. doesn't matter. Yeah. And how the fuck... They were not fit. Yeah. But these people aren't fit. No, and, they're not. But the society of intellectuals that they push for is sort of... It's for them. It's not, though. That's the worst thing. Is this not? I know it's not, but <laughs> it's in their minds. It's for them. Yeah, no, it's for them temporarily. If this societal, like, if this mindset ever truly took hold, and we wound, and we wound up in a general, in a true capitalist society, a true and utter one mm-hmm. that completely focuses on the individual, then these profits or whatever they serve no purpose, and they're not very good at any of other fucking job. No, they'll be left yeah. to die. Yeah. So. That's the thing. It's like, Peterson is a genuine believer. Through and through, from the bottom of his heart, I have no question about that. But people like Ben Shapiro and shit, I don't think are. And oh, I no, think no. they recognize that if the, if the path yeah, you're ever... you're selling shit. Yeah, you're selling shit. If the path ever came, you're going to be left to dry, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that. Yep.